Good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowland here with Yorksville First, Midvale, and Newport the Global Methodist Church, bringing you a devotional today out of our People of the Bible series, with today being the person of Hashai. Hashai's name means quick or haste. He lived around the 10th century BC with the friend and counselor of David who became a spy for him. And you can read about him in 2 Samuel 15. And our devotional thoughts. When Brian Johnson caught Carl Ripken Jr.'s home run that broke Lou Gehrig's consecutive game streak, he knew he could have sold it for thousands of dollars. Instead, he gave it to Ripken saying, it will mean more to you and to your kids than anything I could have gotten out of it. Doing the right thing means not always doing the easy thing. Doing the best thing means not always doing the comfortable thing. Hashai certainly understood that. Hashai the Akite was a friend and wise counselor of King David. When David's son Absalom revolted against his father, David fleed from Jerusalem. At first, Hashai accompanied David. But when news came of Hophtafal, David's other advisor, had switched loyalties and was siding with Absalom, David asked Hoshai to do something difficult and dangerous. He instructed Hoshai to return to the city to, to feign loyalty to his rebellious son and act as a secret agent for the king. Hashai preferred to remain with David, but he knew that sometimes doing the right thing means doing the uncomfortable thing. Hashai provided reliable intelligence of the plans of Absalom and counseled the son in ways that benefited the father. Sometimes God prompts us to do things we would prefer not to do. It means befriending an unfriendly neighbor, mentoring a teenager who has no positive influence in his or her life. For you, this may not always be the comfortable thing to do, but it is the right thing. Be responsive to God. Invade Satan's camp to serve your king and enjoy being God's secret agent. Uh, the, 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 the idea that God often calls us to something uncomfortable, this is something that we should expect as Christians. God often calls us out of our comfort zone because he wants us to know that he has bigger plans for us and that he will sustain us through those plans. It is not up to us to have all the equipment or all the things necessary. It is up to us to trust in God and let him do his work. To send us straight into the stronghold of Satan to be his witnesses. To do the things nobody else wants to do. To care for the people nobody else wants to care for. And to love those that nobody else loves. Our calling as Christians is to step out in faith for God, to do the things that he wants us to do, to serve him loyally, because we know that is what he needs from us. Amen.